Hey, what is up everybody? Today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can screen mirror any Android phone. Doesn't matter if it's a Samsung or any regular Android phone. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna show you all the settings, everything you need to know. And it's super awesome. It's completely free and you don't have to download anything on your Android phone. Everything works wirelessly and you can actually go full screen too, as you can see right there, which is pretty cool. And if you go, if you wanna go portrait, you can actually do that too. You can do tons on this. If you wanna watch videos, you can watch videos, which is pretty, pretty cool. If you wanna to listen to music on YouTube, you can. Yes, the audio will be coming from the uh, from TV. You can actually play games if you want to. You can actually use your camera if you want to. As you can see, it's working pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool, it's working fine. If you wanna play games, you actually can play games. So let me just do that. There you go. I'm not good at this. I'm just gonna try to do better. Nope, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at this, but it's, it's gonna be pretty awesome. So let's just dive right into it. Okay, as I promised, it doesn't matter what Android phone you have. If it's a Samsung or if it's a normal Android phone, really doesn't matter what brand, what brand of Android phone you have. I'm gonna tell you everything there is in this video. So follow, and if you need help, just comment down below, I'll definitely get back to you. So the first thing you wanna do is to make sure you are connected to your home Wi-Fi. So go to the Wi-Fi settings. And as you can see, I am connected to my home Wi-Fi right there. Now, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, but you really don't have to worry about it, you actually can use your mobile hotspot. So if you want to do that, if you want to use your mobile hotspot, go to the settings, go to the connection settings. And at the bottom, you can see there's a setting called mobile hotspot and tethering. So inside the mobile hotspot setting, you can just enable this and just that's pretty much it. But just be careful with it. It might cost you data or data plans depending on where you live and depending on what data plan you have. If you have your home Wi-Fi, I would highly recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. All right, on your smart TV, really simple. And by the way, you really don't have to worry about what TV brand you have. This should work exactly the same. It doesn't matter what TV brand you have. Now on your TV, you wanna do is to go into the general settings or the menu of your TV. As you can see, mine looks like that, but it might not look exactly like, it might not look exactly like that on yours TV, but you don't have to worry about it. If you need any help, again, I'm right here. Just comment down below, I'll get back to you. Now into the menu you wanna do is to find something called network settings. All right, as you can see, I have network inside the general settings. The settings are different, but you need to find something called network settings. As you can see, I have network settings inside the general settings now. Pretty tricky, but again, now inside the network settings, as you can see, you can find the network status if you want to, but what we're gonna be doing is to open network settings. Inside the network settings, you wanna select wireless. You can actually use wired if you want to, but I would recommend wireless. Now this is where the magic happens. Now this is where we need to make sure that our Android phones are on exactly same Wi-Fi connection, or if you're using a hotspot from your Android phone, you just have to make sure the TV and your Android phone are both on same hotspot connection. <laughs> For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna select my home Wi-Fi right there. Click OK, and you just, you might have to enter the password. I, I've done this before, so that's why it's not asking me for the password. Once the connection is successful, that is pretty much all you have to do. Now, this is an optional step. Now, if you have a really, really old TV, you might have to enable the screen mirroring manually. So if you, on your remote control, just click on sources. Now, once you click on sources, you should be able to see something called screen mirroring on the screen of your sources. Now, in this case, I really don't have to manually enable anything, basically, since this is not an old or ancient TV. Now, since this is not an older model, just an optional step. If you have a really old TV, just click on the sources and find screen mirroring and enable that. Just open it, just like, just like clicking on it right there. See, <laughs> just manually enable screen mirroring. All right, so now that the TV and our Android phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi connection, I really wanna show you the screen mirroring settings on different devices. As I get a lot of questions in the comment section below as to not, a lot, not everybody has Samsung, so they have different Android phones. So in this case, I just wanna clarify, if you have a normal Android phone, don't worry about it, I'm right here, and I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. If, first up, if you have Samsung, all you have to do is to go to the settings, Inside the settings, you wanna go into something called connected devices, really simple. Inside the connected devices, you wanna scroll down just a tiny bit until you find something called smart view right there. And that's what we're gonna be using. And that is it. 
And if you want to, you can actually search for Smart View as well. But that's that's how you do it on Samsung. But this might not be exactly the same thing if you have a different brand of Android phone. So that's why I'm going to show you how you can find the Smart View or screen mirroring on a different Android. Now the problem is that Samsung calls it Smart View, but not everybody, but not every Android phone calls it Smart View. That's the tricky part, and that's why I get a lot of questions in the comment section below. That's why I'm making this guide again. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the settings of your of your Android phone. As you can see, this looks tiny bit different, right? Not exactly look like not exactly like the Samsung, but it's just a tiny bit different. So as you can see inside the settings, what we need to do is to find something called connections and hotspot. It can be called more connections, it can be called connections extras, something like that. But don't worry about it. Again, I'm here to help. Just comment down below if you need help. In this case, as you can see, this is a normal Android phone, not a Samsung. So we just need to find the connection settings. As you can see, it's called hotspot and connections. Pretty tricky again. Inside the hotspot and connections, as you can see, it's not easy to find smart view or screen mirroring on these different Android devices. So scroll down all the way until you find something called cast. Or if you don't, if you don't have cast, you can actually find something called. Sometimes it's called wireless display. I know there's a lot of names for it. I don't know why everybody's changing the name, but yes, smart, Samsung calls it smart view. Some some Android phones call it cast. Some call it wireless display. So don't worry about don't worry about it. You can don't worry about it. Just find cast or wireless display. Simple and extremely easy. Now, as I showed you earlier, the Android phone and my smart TV are connected to exactly same Wi-Fi connection or the hotspot if you're using a hotspot. By the way, let me know in the comment section below if you're using hotspot. Now, in this case, as you can see, I have a Samsung, but again, don't worry about it. I just showed you if you have a different Android phone, don't have to worry about anything. In this case, just go to the settings. Inside this inside the settings, you want to go into the connected devices settings. Inside the connected devices, you need to find something called smart view. It's it's right there. It's right below the Samsung DAX. So just find smart view. And once you do that, you can see there is a Samsung or your smart TV on the list. So all you have to do is just click on your TV and it's going to ask you for permission. But if you have done this, just like me, it should work. See, you can actually go full screen if you want it, if you if you want to. So as you can see, it's pretty amazing the way it works. So you can do tons on this if you want to go into the apps. You can you can see how it works. It's absolutely awesome. Yep, you can play games. You can listen to music. You can do pretty much anything you like. So now this is how you do it on Samsung. But just for the sake of this tutorial, I also want to show you how you can do this on a normal Android. So let me just disconnect it. By the way, if you have Samsung to disconnect, all you have to do is just tap on that, click disconnect, or you can just go back into, you can just go back into the smart view and you can disconnect it from there. I promise you, if you don't have Samsung phone, you really don't have to worry about it. Really don't have to worry about it. If you have a normal Android phone, just like me, all you have to do, just a tiny bit, <laughs> all you have to do is just follow these steps. I show, again, I showed you before, so if you want to, I showed you before, go to the settings, find hotspot and connections. Pretty tricky again. Yes, inside the connections, all you want to do is to find something called cast or wireless display. As you can see, it's called cast in this one. Open the cast, click OK. And this way, it will automatically scan. As you can see, it will give you pretty much the TVs that are connected or on the same Wi-Fi connection or same hotspot if you're using hotspot. Now, as you can see, that's the, I have two different TVs that are running on the same Wi-Fi connection. In this case, that's the one that I want to connect. So all you have to do is just tap on it. As you can see, it's connecting and this is, I'm doing this for the first time. So it's asking me for the permission right there. All you have to do is just on your remote, click OK and it should be connecting right there. See, it's connecting at the top and there you go. We should be connected. So just give it a couple of seconds. There you go. Yeah, I was getting worried for a second. <laughs> but really don't have to worry about anything. Again, I just showed you that this works with literally any Android phone you have. So if you have a different Android phone or different brand than this, and if you cannot find wireless or cast option, you can just comment down below. I'll definitely help you out. Don't worry about anything, okay? Now, this is how you do it on a different Android phone. Again, you can do tons on this. You can even use a camera if you want to on this Android phone as well. Yes, it works. <laughs> it works exactly how you want it to. So we'll just take a photo. I'm just gonna open up the photo. It's pretty slow, so 
my apologies for that. Yeah, there you go. Once you open up the photo, you can actually zoom in. You can do tons. You can actually go full screen too if you have that option enabled on your phone. I don't have that on this one, but yes, pretty simple, pretty easy. So let me just, let me know in the comment section below if you find this video helpful. If you do, be sure to subscribe and like the video. I'm Riz and I'll catch you in the next one. Now, before I go, I really wanna show you how you can disconnect from this. So again, go to the settings. Inside the settings, you wanna go into the connection again, go to the cast option. All you have to do is just tap on the TV that you are connected to, or you can just dev, you can just manually disable everything. There, there you go, pretty simple. Well, pretty easy, right? <laughs>